Hi, I'm Mike from Scott Dalek, and how can you do a spinning solar system? Ooh, find out. Hi, I'm Mike from Scoutadelic and come on, boldly go where no one has gone before by clicking subscribe. It's free to do so, you can change your mind at any point, but you'll get notified if you ring the bell of any new videos, any ideas, any activities that we are planning on doing. So go on, click subscribe, it'll help me out and it'll be great. So today I'm going to show you how to do a spinning solar system. It's really fun and really easy to do. So you're going to need a paper plate, a split pin, some thin card, some glue or glue dots, some paint, a little pom-pom ball and some card. So with your paper plate what you're going to do is you're going to paint this all black. Now you could do it that way or alternatively you could do what I did and use obviously black paint as well as glitter paint as well. So then you get like a kind of starry background which is kind of cool and what you're really doing. Like so. <laughs> I'm actually so proud of this. <laughs> From there what you're going to do is you want to find the centre of the actual plate and you're going to put one of your split pins through it. However, you don't want to do it just yet, okay? Because so what you also want to do with your card is cut a little corner out. Doesn't have to be big, just has to be little enough so that your split pin will go through that. Like so and then through the plate. There we are. Which means that it's a lot easier to spin around. That central point is actually the center of our solar system. And what that is, is the sun. Now what you can do is you can do one of two things. You can either glue that in place or use sticky dots or however. You want that to kind of cover up where your cardboard thing is like so <laughs> really cool <laughs> sorry from there what you want to do is you want to place uh, the four first planets so that would be Mercury Venus Earth and Mars okay so what you can do is you can use colored dots or alternatively you can cut out little like sort of bits of card it's entirely up to you how you want to do this okay um, if you're wanting to do a quick and simple thing, the sticky dots might help, but you kind of need around about eight different colours uh, to actually stick down on your actual solar system. So Mercury is the first one, so it's usually the closest to the sun, so it's actually around about a grey colour. So I put it as a, a little white blob there. Then the next one is Venus, which is kind of like a brown colour. Then you want Earth, which is obviously blue and green, and finally Mars which is red. Now remember this isn't going to be uh, accurate uh, to obviously hit the from the Sun to Mercury and so on and so forth. This is just to show obviously where the planets would be when spinning around. Now after Mars what you want is you want on the edges here you want um, the asteroid belt because after Mars there is an asteroid belt. Now you can do this two, uh, two ways, you can either use a grey like sort of pen to obviously make the asteroids or alternatively if you want to make it like sort of a little bit more creative you can um, like sort of paint little um, like sort of pebbles or spray paint them grey and then stick them on like little ones all the way along the edge there. After you've done that then it's Jupiter which is kind of like a brown and orange then you've got Saturn which is golden and usually comes with rings and then you've got Uranus which is blue and also Neptune which is a darker blue as well and weirdly enough there we are you have your spinning solar system <laughs> It's a fun, simple, easy uh, activity that you can do, but it also allows you to talk about where all the positions of the planets are. And I know we're missing Pluto, but you can obviously do that. Be creative, do things differently. Um, but yeah, there we are. There's your spinning solar system. If you like this video, then give it a thumbs up and don't forget to obviously share it around. Otherwise, I'll see you again soon for another one of these. Bye.